Good morning. It's Saturday, June the 13th. The call to prayer this morning. I will call upon the Lord and he will deliver me. In the evening, in the morning, and at the noonday, he will hear my voice. He will bring me safely back. God, who is enthroned of old, will hear me. The request for presence today is Psalm 85. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. The greeting today is Psalm 65, 4. Happy are those whom you choose and draw to your courts to dwell there. They will be satisfied by the beauty of your house, by the holiness of your temple. The refrain for the morning lessons is Psalm 84, 1. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts. The gospel reading today is from John chapter 10, verses 14 to 16. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for my sheep. And there are other sheep I have that are not of this fold, and I must lead these too, and they too will listen to my voice, and there will be only one flock and one shepherd. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts. The morning psalm is Psalm 130, 4 through 7. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for him. In his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchman for the morning. More than watchman for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord. And for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts. The small verse today is Psalm 84. My soul has a desire and longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer appointed for the week. O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant that by your inspiration I may think those things that are right, and by your merciful guiding may do them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The concluding prayer of the Church. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen. May God bless you this day and always.